The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Um, you again? How'd you find me here? I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Okay. Tell Caesar I accept his invitation. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lucullus will be waiting. Okay. Awesome. Render unto Kaisar. So yeah, Kaisar, or Caesar, I'm going to probably end up saying a little bit of both, but majority Caesar, is obviously the leader of the... The, the Legion, I think. Are they called the Legion? I've suddenly forgotten. Um, there is Vault 21. An actual vault built on the strip turned into a shop, which is nice. We will be going in there at some stage. Um, but first, as you can see, we're at the NCR headquarters here in the strip. The embassy, and there's a drunk NCR soldier stumbling out. Um, that's because we're going to get a mission from them. But... Conveniently enough, as we get given a quest to go to the fort, which is Le uh, the Legion's base, we get given basically clearance to go there by Caesar himself, which is nice. So, let's have a look. What have we got? There stands the grass. That's Vault 22, okay. So, I spoke to Yes Man just to finish the last wildcard thing. Um, travel to Cottonwood Cove and take the barge up the river to the fort. So, these are roughly... Like, well, no, they are. They are three of the possible endings that we could have. I think there are four possible endings, and we're about to get the NCR one. But Render Unto Caesar, Wild Card, and The House Always Wins are basically the main quest line. And you can do a mixture of them, you could only do one, basically up until a certain point, and then you're forced to actually choose one. So we're going to go inside the NCR embassy to, t uh, to speak to the NCR president, I think? I'm pretty certain it's the president. We're going to have a gander in here because he's asked to see us. That's a peculiar baton you've got there. I've never seen that before. Um, we have got all of our gear back, which is nice. Uh, I accidentally whipped out my silenced pistol at some stage while leaving the Lucky 38 and uh, may have squealed. But it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Of course I am. Uh, I don't, I, no, no, I'm not going the wrong way. I don't have a quest marker for it. Move. You fool. You fool. Hello, there you are. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. Okay. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. You have my attention. Go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would... Bloody hell, we're going to the boomers already. I would like you to get in contact with them and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. A martyr, basically. background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. Mm -hmm. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? I'll think about it. I'll find them, and I'll have a chat. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Alright, sure, Crocker. I'll see you in a bit. Goodbye. Things that go boom. So yeah, um, obviously I remember doing the boomer mission. How can you forget doing the mission for the boomers? They're like one of the most unique factions in Fallout history. 
And they've got a really, really awesome background, which is even better. Um, I don't really know which quests I want to do. I guess we will do things that go boom. Um, now, I believe they're out here somewhere. So we're going to fast travel to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. And basically have a little bit of a gander from there. Um, because walking all the way down to Cottonwood Cove for the Legion mission is something that I'm going to do off camera. Uh, if I keep on doing some NCR missions, however, then I should unlock quite a few uh, like areas and stuff on the way. Who is that? Oh my god, what's going on? An NCR ranger needs my help. That's not a that's not a that's not a ranger that I know. Hello. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Okay, awesome. So, fun fact: um, that NCR radio that he's just given me is absolutely bloody useless. It is the most useless radio ever. It's a bit like the flare gun from Fallout 4. Um, in fact, I'm pretty certain they just completely ripped it off. And it's horrific. It is. It does not work at all. Like, I don't think I've ever used it and it's actually spawned people in. It's pretty much the shitty vanilla version of the FCOM mod. And evidently, I hate it way more than I probably should. But I've tried to use it to save my life in the past and it's upset me that it's not worked. <coughs> so, we're coming out to the northeast of the Vegas area, I guess. And we're going to go talk to the boomers. Now, there's something we've got to kind of avoid with the boomers. And if you've played this game, then you know exactly what it is and what I'm talking about. And the man that we're going to meet up on this road up ahead is uh, going to hint to the issue that we have with the boomers. Because, yeah, they are very, very hostile to people, like Crocker said. This is a unique little place. A new, a, 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 a new, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know at all. Hello. This looks like a location that we can unlock. Do, 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 do. Field Shack. I don't know who that is, but we're taking the stuff out of this. Oh, we're not taking those. Hello. There he is. Is that Field? Oh, it's George. George! Oi, George! Oi! George! Oi, oi! Oi, George! Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Uh, you can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? All right. F thanks for the warning. Even though I don't think you gave me a warning, what's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? No, I have. What have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as me. Nellis Airfield. Isn't that. Isn't that a DC place for Green Lantern? Is there a way to get past? There is a way. And I'll tell you. For a little wager. Where's my phone? Wager? I'm not the gambling type. I need to keep moving. Suit yourself. Come back and see me when you get tired of picking shrapnel out of your backside. You what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome back. Have you reconsidered my offer? Um, fine. What was the deal again? Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Hmm, 300 caps. I'm a bit short right now. How about 200? All right. I suppose I can cut you a deal. Nellis Air Force Base. Okay. Oh, it's an actual place. Holy shit. Details, but it's all in the time what is... I'm sure General Nellis is a... I'll be here or maybe it's not. So I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. 
No, it's not. I'm just... Maybe it's just this that I recognise it from, then. All right, George. I can't remember... I don't know what he's just said to me, but... It's fine. Oh, God. Now, I'm not even going to save before I do this. I'm just going to go in straight, straight ahead like a rebel. Because I know a little bit of a trick. And that's to stick to the stick to the rocks. Oh fuck! I've crippled my everything. Oh fuck! Oh, holy shit! But it worked. <laughs> No one can say it didn't work. Balls. So, I am going to actually have to go out into that area at some point, but I'm going to get the boomers onto my side before I do it. Hello? Hello? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to find the gate. Oh. Oh my god, he's got a rocket launcher. Hello? You've crippled me. You've bloody crippled me. Hold it right there. Don't you Hello. Know? How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Stuck to the left. Um. I didn't hear through. I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid questions. Are you even human? Some kind of mutant? Move a muscle now, and I'll blow you to pieces. All you're gonna blow up is this gate if you shoot now. Um. Do you really think I'm scared of a punk like? Oh no. Um. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just. Just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. Will they? I'll take this from here. Well, oh, oh shit. Raquel, oh, well, I can't see her. Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. All right, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. I'm sure plenty have. You didn't exactly roll out the bloody red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. Hmm. How might I be of assistance, then? Oh, so many ways. Small ones, to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav- uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Okay, how can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers... My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Okay, sure. So, hello. it is going to be very, very... Oh, hello. You've got an awesome suit, holy shit. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, it is going to be massively, massively beneficial to get the boomers onto the side of the NCR, especially when it comes to the endgame. Ooh. Return to Yes Man and tell him that the boomers can be ignored. So alternatively, we can just go back if we want to help Yes Man and uh, not recruit the boomers, I guess. Hello again. These have all got awesome outfits. Who are you? Ah, oh, you're Raquel. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. 
You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Okay, okay. Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem. <laughs> it sounds a little bit personal. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Okay, I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. All right. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions Oh, what the fuck? Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Great. Neil's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. No, no, I'm fine. I'll just, uh... Whack on in, I guess. First, I'd like to find this child. Because there is a child that will give me a history lesson. And in the past, whenever I've listened to it, I've, I've just not cared at all. Um, but I've been watching a lot of Oxhorn stuff. And listening to the history of vaults and the history of, you know, certain factions and things like that really, really interests me now. And considering this is a faction from a vault, I would actually like to listen to their version of the story. So there's Loyal's house. I'm pretty certain it's one of these bunk houses. The Nellis workshop, maybe it's this one. Nellis Boomer Museum. Hello. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. I am. I'd like to know all about you, you, you people, your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Okay, sure. I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> okay. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We'll continue. Are you gonna go on? What's wrong with you, child? I was sat down and listening to you. Do you want me to get a hand grenade out? What do you want me to do? Have I got to activate the quest? Why aren't you talking? What's wrong? What have I done? I'll shoot you. I will. Boo. Boo. Speak. I want to know. Look, I'm leaving. Stinky Pete, I'm leaving. That looks like a good story as well. <laughs> Fine. Do I have to sit down? Shall we sit down? No, I'm going to sit down and listen to your story. Fine, you ignorant git. So I'm not speaking to that to that little ignorant child. Evidently the game's glitched. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I'll give it a Google after this little session. Um, but we're going to go over here and sort out the ants instead. Um, I don't think you have to do all of the missions. I'm pretty certain we're, you know, we're safe not messing around and listening to the kid. Um, I think we've just got to become liked by the boomers, which is fine. There's enough missions here to, to sort that out. We should be fine. But yeah, we're going to come over to these arrays and uh, have a little chat about them. I will try and get the kid to to sort himself out. <laughs> I don't see any... F oh my god, there's a, a thing over there. Mr. Handy. A Mr. Gutsy. I didn't know the boom was out of Gutsy. Holy shit. I don't see any exterior fences. This place is huge. No, oh, I also forgot to mention. If you're wondering why there's like a weird filter on the screen, it's because I accidentally took a drug called Cat Eye, which makes you see in the dark. 
I didn't mean to, I was chowing down on food and doctor's bags to heal my limbs after I got blown to smithereens. Oh! Uh-oh. A boomer jumpsuit. I'm going to take that, I don't know why. Because I'm probably just going to end up getting rid of it, but I'm going to take it. Hello? Is anybody in here? I don't see anything. Surprisingly, considering this bloody night vision filter. I don't know if I can make that jump. I don't know if I want to try and make it either. Might be better just going down and around. Down and around. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, no, I've got to go back up. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I can just come through here. I've only found one ant so far. Oh. Come here. How did I kill that one? I weren't even aiming at that one. What just happened? I'm almost out of ammo. This isn't good. I don't know what other weapon to bloody use. Um, let's use the plasma pit. Oh, wait. She said that they explode when you use plasma. No, that was laser. Maybe plasma's okay. I don't know what the difference is. I guess we'll find out when we hit one. Oh, what am I doing? Where am I now? Why am I here? Go back in. What's going on? Why is this happening? Oh, I've got to go up the stairs and make that jump. I'm going to miss and I'm going to fall. I'm going to break both my legs again and then not be able to bloody move. Be trapped inside this godforsaken boomer camp for the rest of my days. Let's go back up there, I guess. I can't believe that child messed up. Ah. There we go. So we need to power those off, which we've done. Oh. That's not doing out. That's not doing a single thing to it. Uh, hunting shotgun. Oh. That is a really nice shotgun. Like a pump action. It's awesome. Like a trench gun. Oh god. Oh my god, they're respawning. It's got some distance on it. Not a lot, but it's got some. Uh oh. Oh! There we go. Holy shit. I do not like this place at all. Well, here we go. Oh, we've done it. Oh! Hello, little fella. There we go, your little git. Your little git. Okay, the coast is clear so far. Oh! Is this not where I was before? Hello? A marksman carbine. The value of that is very high. Let's have a look at what it is. It's like an upgraded version of the service rifle. Still single shot, but that's fine. That goes back out. So we've gone round in a circle. That's nice to know. Um, it's not beneficial, but it's nice to know. Let me get my shotgun back out, because I quite like that. This is some sort of lift? Yeah, some sort of lift. What have we got round here? It's very lonely without Boone. Let's take this scrap metal. Compensate for the lack of Boone. Make our own Boone. A metal Boone. In the word of Clavicus Vile. Now fetch me my bone! <gasps> Fucking clavicus vile. What a piece of shit. These ants keep respawning, or I'm just missing them. And I don't know... Oh. Another one's just spawned. They are definitely respawning. Let me look at the local map. Right. There's one in front of me and to the left. There's two in front of me to the left. And there's one in front of me to the right, this way. Maybe it's round here. 
and I'm just being a moron. Or maybe that's the way. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Have I got to destroy the nests? Maybe I am. Ant meat. What's my objective? Let me have a look. Because like a moron, I've not even looked. Kill all the ants in the generator room, restart the two array generators, then reset the main power breaker. Who? It said restart them. I only turned them off, I think. Unless that was restarting them, but we'll have a look. Because they're only here. Oh, this is such a good gun. No, they don't turn back on. It says kill all of them in the generator room. Is this not the generator room? That's, no, that's not that's not beneficial. We'll take those with me, even though I don't know if they're going to help. What's through here? Here we go. Is this anything? No? Right, I guess we've got to go back upstairs. Because I have... Oh my god, there's, there's the bloody munitions that we've got to avoid shooting. I bet he gives me like a, a radium, a radiation gun. Oh! There we go. I was just being ignorant. What else have I got to do? Or is that it? Have I just got to kill him? It looks like I've just got to kill him. Hello, little ants. Well, not little ants, but... Uh-oh. Hello, big ants. You big gits. Ho oh, wait. Finish him. Go on. What are you running away for? What are you running away for? With your gun in your mouth. There we go. What in the world just happened? Am I injured again? Why am I walking slow? I don't like this. Two more have spawned. And they're back down there. I reckon I've just got to keep killing them, you know. And maybe they run out and stop spawning. That's the only thing I can think of. It's a bit boring, but... It's what the mission is. Hello, hello. Maybe I should just throw a grenade down. Blow up all the munitions down there. That might be what I have to do, and I just had to speak to Loyal about it, but I've decided to dodge him. Hey, fellas. No, I reckon I've got to keep killing them until they don't respawn. That one's sponging so much. Oh! Oh my god. How are you getting away with that? Give over. Who's next? Come on, bitch. Bring it down. Bring it down. Ho! Oh! Even got a little bit of sniper elite bloody slow motion there. There we go. Return to Raquel and let her know the generators are running again. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yes, it's safe to go down there now. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Accepted by the boomers. Brilliant.